everybody, I'm Stable and welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront. Today I'm going to try and do a bit of a tips and tricks video for Fighter Squadron, hopefully. If I can actually play well. Because I've, I, I'm really good at this mode, I'm useless at the other modes, I really am. First of all, just concentrate on anyone, just shoot anyone you see. Whether it's AI or whether it's human, just shoot them and use your evasive maneuvers. Because it's all about points. Sometimes, to avoid a fighter, you do need to duck and dive in, in the tunnels and things. Just to escape from them. Sometimes it's the only way. Uh oh. A lot of people play the hero ships wrong. They play them wrong. And what I mean by that is, they go for the other hero ship. But if you go for the other hero ship while you're in the hero ship, it's complete... I'm saying hero ship a lot of time. It's complete waste of... Of a really good ship. You can annihilate fighters. You can get up like 20, 25 kills if you're in a hero ship. You're wasting your time if you're trying to take the other hero ship. The best thing to do is, is just ignore him. If you're in him, look at this guy. He is wasting it. If you're the Millennium Falcon or Slave One, you want to go for the transport ships or the other fighters. You just want to ignore the hero ships. Same goes as well if you're uh, if you're just a normal pilot, because if they just take too much time to take down, so the best thing to do is just avoid them where you can. Ah, flip. I'm sorry if this video is all over the place. I'm probably making a mistake, recording at the same time I'm as commentating on the tips at the same time as playing the game. Nothing more annoying as well than when you're a hero ship. You're doing really well for your team. You get some douchebag behind you with the other hero ship and he just will not leave you alone. I know that's like, technically, you shouldn't really ignore him because that's not what would happen in in the universe of Star Wars. But it is so annoying when they just will not leave you alone. Guys, okay, I, I joined halfway through the game then, but 10, 10 kills and 2 deaths isn't too bad. When you're slave 1, now that's really beneficial to the team. When you can get 31 kills, that racks up a whole lot more points than if you're just trying to take out the Millennium Falcon and you're wasting your time. Don't don't line up behind the transport shuttles. It's a place for really easy, easy kills when it's like a convoy line of Imperial or Rebel ships behind the transport shuttles. You can just take them all out. Woo! Now this is pod racing. That's probably one of the corniest lines in any Star Wars movie, apart aside from yippee! But I, I, I love it and I can't help but use it. Look at them all. I'm out of range though. There's one. Oh no, they blew it up. That was a great shot. Well, thank you very much, lady. Don't be afraid of stealing kills either. I mean, it's a team game. We're not in it to try and, you know, get the most kills or anything. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We're not in it to try and get the most kills. We just, we want to win as a team. So so what if you ki steal a few kills? It doesn't matter. Also, when you're shooting, slow down. Because your blast is a lot more powerful and you can get a lot better uh, kills. It's useful as well because your blasters overheat really quickly. So if you can make your shots as powerful as you can, as quickly as you can, then it's really beneficial. Hey, someone stole my kill then. Woo, I didn't even need that. Uh-oh, I need it now though. Woo! Don't be afraid to do your own evasive maneuvers. I should have really gone for the shuttle then. But I was worried that uh, Boba Fett might kill me. This guy is high in the sky. Where is he going? obviously didn't think anyone was going to follow him that high. Well, sucks for you, mister. <laughs> now I'm going to fly all the way back down. Oh no. Hopefully this is the game I've just left. Although I've lost all my points. I don't really care what ship I use either. Unless I'm Imperial, I prefer to use the Titan Scepter. But the Rebel Alliance, I like the X-Wing because I love the X-Wing. It's one of my favourite ships of the whole... Of the whole series. It's not the same game, but the map. That's it, you got it. And I've got this one too. See, look. You're spending too much time on the hero ship. You can just get them, just ignore the hero ships. 
Unless you are one. Honestly, I cannot stress that enough. Just ignore the hero ship. Just trust me. Just leave them alone. I know it's tempting to go for them, but just don't. Just don't go for the hero ships. Let the noobs go for the hero ships. You worry about the TIE Fighters and the transport ships and your transport ships. You don't get anything for taking the hero ship down. You get nothing for it. Interesting fact. Why did this guy die? See, Han! Seriously, why are you flying into me like that? Interesting fact. The guy who recorded the sounds for the R2 units in the back of this... In the back of these X-Wings. He re-recorded all of his own sounds for it. And he was using his, his newborn baby. Because he was on matern paternity leave at the time. And so he used the... Uh, but the noises his little baby was making. And put them through a mixer. And, and stuff. And did... Hollywood special effects things on them. To make the sounds. It was kind of emulating what the original guy did in the original trilogy. To make R2 R2's sounds. So I thought that was really neat. I was reading it. If you want to read more, then there's a then there's a whole blog about it on the EI Star, EA Star Wars website. So if I remember, I'll put a link to it. I just thought it was really interesting. Obviously, get a few pot shots off at the at the hero ships when you can. Like if you see them in your scopes, don't not pull the trigger. Like pull the trigger. Believe me, but. Just don't target them because you're just wasting time. These matches are short enough already. Don't you, you can't afford to waste time shooting a ship that takes like 10 hours to destroy. Yay! 15 kills isn't bad when you're out of a uh, hero ship. If you've got a good person in the hero ship, there's, there's no chance you're going to get top of the leaderboard. I like this map. I'm really excited for the best win. Are you? The best win of DLC is going to be awesome. Like... I imagine doing like dog fights in between all the Cloud City buildings. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. Scratch one bogey. The problem with being a type interceptor is you're a target because it's obvious you're not AI. Oh, stop being such a pessimist. The match has only just started. Woo, you know you're dead. Oh, will you peer? <laughs> Someone just stole my kill. Do not steal kills. I take back what I said. It's annoying when they fly into you. Block your screen. That's annoying. It's not the fact you stole my kill. It's the fact you stole my screen. Woo! I know. I flew into it. <laughs> well done. Learn where to fly, you douchebag. Don't get angry if someone rams you. It's not impossible to do it on purpose. And when you lock onto them, before you fire your missile... Make sure you've seen them do their evasive maneuver. Because, okay, he did that on purpose. He's a douchebag. He's the guy that did it to me last time. <laughs> I really hope they introduce some more hero ships in the in the next DLC as well. That would be awesome. Like Dash Rendar's Outrider. Although it's not technically canon anymore. So I don't know if they will. It might be too similar to the uh, Millennium Falcon anyway. So they might not bother. But they might... In, what they might do is... Like have hero signature ships, like they might have Luke Skywalker's X-Wing. Uh, definitely Vader's TIE. Like B-Wings would be pretty neat to fly. I'm not... Cloud cars will be a bit crap, if I'm honest. I can't see how a cloud car would be a good a good one to, uh, to see. Let's see, there's someone just flying up my butt. Got him! Doesn't matter, someone's flying up your butt, as long as you get the kill. Rebel fighter neutralized. But I really love this mode. And I really hope with the Death Star DLC that we get some space battles. Because that would be cool. Yay! 20 kills without a hero ship. That is how you do it. <laughs> so much for not being pretentious. I will do some out of the room DLC gameplay. But I'm just not very good at the infantry style multiplayer. I'm, I'm more of a pilot. Those cooldown cards as well are fantastic. Of course they're behind me. They're always behind me. Wow! I know where it is. Oh no! Come on! Yes! 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 Woo! Come on, Chewie! Let's do this! Best Han Solo impression ever. Right here we go. Watch me just get annihilated straight away. Because <laughs> that's how 
how things work when you try and show something off. Scratch one bogey. Oh, of course they're locking with a missile. Why wouldn't they lock with a missile? Come on, if you think you're hard enough. See, someone's really targeting me here, and I have a feeling it's going to be Slave 1. Well, they can try and lock onto me if they want, but you know what Yoda said? No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. So they can try what they want. Also, as a hero ship, don't bother with the health pickups. They have like 1% health. Unless you can pick up like 100 in a game, it's a bit of a waste of time. I got one! Break it! Don't be cocky! Woohoo! Yeah! They just die so easily. I love the, the Millennium Falcon. They just. Oh, they just fall apart. Especially those AI ships. Oh. Oh no, where's all my health gone? Oh. There goes the Falcon. Yes, yes. They're falling like flies. Well, flies that are dead. <laughs> Can I reach it from here? Yes. I can. No way. Damn you, Boba Fett. If there's someone behind you, don't chase a kill. Give me cover. Give me cover. Oh, hello. Thank you so much for flying in front of me. I'm not going to let you kill me. You're not going to kill me. I'm going to outmaneuver your backside and shoot you into next year. Woo! <laughs> Didn't get top though. Still got a lot of kills. Yay! Right, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. I absolutely love this game. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It is the, the best Star Wars game. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the fighting in it is really good though. I love. I just love Fighter Squadron mode. It is really good. I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm definitely going to do more of this mode. I might do some Outer Rim gameplay. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to smile because you are the face of the Stable Plays games. Bye bye! Oh, no kids are getting their presents this year. We need someone skip. <laughs> you need. And go! Yes! Ow! Go! Woo! Go! Where'd I go?